Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Amen. Uh, when it comes to talking about cysts, I know more than I want to. It was 1995 and my nine-year-old nephew Andrew attacked a little girl on the baseball field for no reason out of the blue. And uh, when his mom told me about it, she also told me that he had uh, drew pictures of himself hanging from a tree and shooting other children. Horrified, uh, I asked them to bring Andrew to my clinic. And when we scanned him, we do a study called brain spec imaging that looks at blood flow and activity patterns. It looks at how the brain works. We saw just a huge deficit in his left temporal lobe. Uh, and at the time in 1995, we'd already been doing imaging for four years. And we had correlated that part of the brain to violence. And when I tried to get someone to take it seriously and take it out, uh, people said they didn't think that the cyst was at all related to his behavior. Well, I felt differently, and I finally talked to Dr. Jorge Lazareff at UCLA, who said when cysts are symptomatic, they take them out. And so they drained Andrew's cysts, and thank God, because it was so aggressive, it had put so much pressure that it actually thinned the bone over his temporal lobe. And once they drained it, he did so much better. His behavior went back to normal. Now, it wasn't simple, because they had to go and revise the shunt they put in his brain a number of times. But today, Andrew is 25 years old. He's very normal. He's got a job. He's got a house. He is doing fabulous. And since that time in 1995 at the Amen Clinics, we have seen 17 other patients who had uh, cysts, mostly in the left temporal lobe. And uh, knowing it and getting them treatment has been very helpful. The last case was a boy, a 17-year-old boy by the name of Cody, who just had terrible behavior. In fact, he spent 18 months in a residential treatment facility. And then when he got out, he had problems with drugs. He went to a drug treatment program. When we scanned him, we found he had a cyst the size of a tennis ball occupying the space of his left frontal and temporal lobe. When I met him, he wanted to cut his mother up into little pieces, just quite terrifying. And since Dr. Lazarev drained the cyst, Cody has done much, much better. So when I see a cyst, it's something that you take seriously. You think about uh, draining it uh, when it is symptomatic. And that's not only, quote, neurological symptoms, but also psychiatric symptoms, violence, aggression, can't concentrate, um, really difficult behavior. I hope this is helpful to you.